WBGFM, locals talking to locals. I got to see I Feel Pretty. Ah. Now, it's a, it's a comedy um, with an M rating. Yes. But, um, you know, teenage girls would handle this quite well. It okay. would appeal to the, yes. the teenage set and young women. Right. Um, it's directed by Mark Silverstein and Abby Cohen. Uh, it was actually their first um, directional uh, film. They, they've written the screenplay with that in mind to direct it themselves, whereas they've normally been screenwriters for other directors. Um, so for those who like that type of film, uh, Never Been Kissed, He's Just Not That Into You, and How To Be Single, uh, oh, right. this is that kind of yes. film. Yeah. Um, but, you know, with a message. Um, so... Amy Schumer plays Renee, a young woman living in New York who struggles with feelings of insecurity and inadequacy on a daily basis. After joining a spin class, she falls from her bike and gets knocked unconscious. She awakes believing she's suddenly the most beautiful and capable woman in the world. And uh, so with this newfound confidence, she's... um, empowered to live her life fearlessly Uh, but we're wondering what will actually happen when she realises her appearance never actually changed well it says that in the blurb but to me her appearance did change because that inner confidence was there she'd always been feeling so inadequate but because she looked in the mirror and saw somebody who she thought was a stunningly beautiful creature Her whole demeanour changed, which, of course, changes your appearance. You know, she just, she smiled, she made eye contact, she would speak out, she would talk to people she normally didn't have the confidence to talk to, go for jobs she wouldn't normally go for. And uh, so it just shows that it was in her all the time. Yes. And what I really liked in the film is that they didn't actually, when she looked in the mirror, you didn't suddenly see this other actress looking back, some beautiful, slimmer, taller, right, gorgeous, yeah, yeah. smaller shoe size, looking back at her. You just saw her. She was seeing in her own head something else. Yes. But um, everyone else, when she went and said, look, it's really me. Yeah, it's Renee. I know you can't believe it, but it's me. It's me. And they're all looking and saying, yeah. believe it. Yeah. It's yeah. That was the best thing for her. Yeah, this, she was on a spin cycle. Ah, and right. you know, the first time she was on it, she had a bit of an embarrassing moment with yes. splitting lycra and all the rest. Yeah. But uh, So limped home, but... She went back and uh, yeah, had this this fall, which yeah. leads into the right. storyline. You know, yes. it's kind of implausible, but it works for this film. I can imagine. Um, that. Yeah. So, uh, Amy Schumer, she's actually a stand-up comedian, and she was the perfect fit for this movie. A woman who, ironically, she's she's got that confidence and ability to portray the range of emotions that were required to be Renee. To have us laughing with her, not at her, and feeling for her as she looks in the mirror in her spandex shapewear. Just that range of emotions that go over her face, you know, wishing she was seeing somebody different in the sure. mirror. Yeah. When really, she's actually a beautiful woman. She, and, she, and she's got a real body. She hasn't got a size two, or, you know, an American size two or zero <laughs> body. She, she's normal. <laughs> But uh, so, but there's so many women, young girls out there who will relate to this film, relate to just feeling they have to measure up to some totally unreachable goal, you know, of, of They go beauty. through that stage themselves. Go through that stage. So yes. for that reason, it's, it's worth going to. Educational. Yeah, yeah. She, she was working um, alongside Ethan, a guy with his own, you know, little set of insecurities um, in a little basement office handling the online sales for a cosmetic company. And the, the founder of the company is played by Lauren Hutton. Ah, oh, yes. Actress and model from yes. way back. Yeah. Um, so she's the matriarch of the family, the grandmother of the, um, the young woman, Avery, who yeah. Renee just idolises because she's this perfection, beautiful, right. groomed... But she's got this annoying voice. Yes, she's got one of these little high fat <laughs> silly voice. So she was groomed in that part to yes. have the voice, you yeah. know. That's her particular insecurity is her voice. So it, it turns out that it hit off us where every employee seems to be a supermodel. We soon discover that all is not as it seems because they, they all have their own set of 
insecurities leading to a that, you know a bit of low self esteem, which they're either dealing with or not. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're seeing. This picture of um, yeah, we all have something that's it's just we'd like to change about ourselves, but you don't need to. Just be yourself. Just be yourself and Absolutely. get over it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, one of the girls at spin class who's an absolute goddess to look at. Yeah. But she's also, you know, got this feeling of self low self-esteem. Yes. So really the whole message in the film is um, just be yourself and believe in yourself. Yeah. So, yeah, there was that message that came out in good. the end in the film. So Lauren Hutton, she'd be so, getting on a bit, wouldn't oh, she, she now? Oh, she's 74 now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, so yeah. Still playing a good part. She did. Yeah. Yes, she did. She, but, you know, she's beautiful. Yeah. She's 74, but she's beautiful, you know. Everyone's age, beautiful in their we, own way. We are, exactly. Yeah. And when I say that, I mean, that's shining from her, yes. her beauty, that good. beauty. Good film and, to go and uh, see. So it is. It's a film, for, as I say, those that enjoy that, that type of film. Yeah. Well, just, you know, it's light. It's light-hearted, but with that serious message sure. contained within it. So, um, good yeah. mum and daughter to go to, I think. Yeah, yeah I think so. Or even dad good and daughter. Well, you know, I've got granddaughters, I think, would really <laughs> like to see this film. Excellent. Yes, yeah, so oh. with that rating, it's, yeah, for teenagers, there is sex scene in it, but not explicit. It's, it's just more implied. Yes. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. Jan, that sounds a fantastic so, film again. Yeah. Lovely that uh, you can get out and see these movies. So, yeah. you got anything lined up next? Uh, well, the next one I'll be reviewing, um, and, oh, and that's a goodie, it's an Agatha Christie. I mean, how can oh. it not be good? Oh, yes. <laughs> the uh, Crooked House, it's called. I picked up the flyer for that. So Gosh, I'm Crooked House has that. been out and about before, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen it before. No. But, uh, Glenn Close is in it. And, oh, great. Oh, she will yeah. be some sort of villainous piece in that, I imagine. Yeah, I <laughs> she does that so brilliantly. Yeah. But uh, when you mentioned I Feel Pretty, it sounded like the sound of music, didn't it? I Feel Pretty. Oh, pretty. oh yes. Did now, what's that, that out of it? it? is out of a musical. Yeah, I that, Feel Pretty. Yeah. 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 Wasn't that the sound of music or something no, like that? No, not the sound of music. Oh, West Side Story, um, was West Side Story. Yes, it yes. was too. Yes, that West was a marvellous story. film, wasn't yes, it? Yes, I was thinking, I know, I know it's in there. Yes, that's right. <laughs> 106.3 BGFM.